Hi, um, I'm a visual artist known as Eka. My goal is to recreate the universe that lives inside my head through illustrations, digital worlds, and animation. I let the subject matter determine the medium and style and do not subscribe to any dogma. Whichever style I may have is by default from habit due to my own limitations as an artist and is not a deliberate one. Everything inspires me from watching strangers at a coffee shop, nature, art, music, and films to my multicultural background as a Korean American growing up in New York City, as a spouse of a Frenchman, a daughter of a painter, and an owner of two cats, and previously of a goofy Labrador named Pixel. The City of Lost Animals is one of the three series that I have been exploring to visually tell stories about ourselves as well as about otherworldly beings who have taken residence in my universe. Animals, to me, have a lot of personality, and they are as expressive as we are, if not more so. They are the perfect actors in this fictional city. I became intrigued with the idea of these lost animals and creatures finding a world of their own that would exist parallel to ours. I imagined a world for them where their expressions would mirror our subconscious and would be as curious and truthful as the child we all once were. I sometimes let composites from my memories to be reflected in this lost city. From my childhood in South Korea to learning to cope with culture shock, and puberty all at the same time. And the general sense of feeling lost in a society that sometimes feels alien to me due to my <laughs> awkward nature and my penchant for dreamers and deviants. Perhaps, perhaps not surprisingly, I almost always become attached to the characters I create and I have a lot of affection for them, even toward their perceived baddies, especially the baddies. <laughs> this thing called life is the title of this next piece, and it's also an offshoot world that sometimes overlaps with the city of lost animals. Some may find this world to be a bit more melancholic than the lost city. This world is more about the daily grind, life's disappointments, fears, regrets, insecurities, crossroads, or maybe it's just about paying the bills. I try to find beauty and humor to portray these sentiments without too much dread or gravity. The aesthetics of circuses and carnivals from their golden age have always appealed to me for their surreal and dreamlike atmospheres. The circus metaphor for the absurdities of life and the things we do to survive in it is a recurring theme. Um, although it may not appear that way, there is love and joy to be found in these images. Um, I'm a little bit ahead, but I'm going to keep going. <laughs> OK, the next um, theme, microspace oddity, is the third and the last theme of the three series. Microspace exists in worlds that are either too far or too near for our everyday senses. But this is where I allow myself to go as deep as the rabbit hole allows me to go. And contrary to what the title may suggest, microspace can be as big as the universe or as small as a petri dish. It can be nonsensical and absurd, but it makes perfect sense to those who inhabit it. Strange yet familiar at the same time. 
The inhabitants may be humans, machines, microbes, hybrids, interspecies, and creatures of all sorts. <laughs> My alter ego steampunk grub comes from this world. Some have asked me what the deal is with the grub. <laughs> the grub was born out of random doodles from my sketchbooks for its unremarkable features. <laughs> Apart from the goggles, that is. It has no limbs and does not speak, but it can travel to any world it imagines <laughs> and makes guest appearances in some of my pieces. Another reason for the use of the avatar is because I had initially wanted to remain anonymous, as if that was even possible today. Unless, that is, if your pseudonym is Banksy. <laughs> my desire was for the viewers to see my work independently from my race, gender, or species. But I have come to the realization that who I am and where I come from have helped to shape the way I view the world around me, even the faraway places of my imagination. Lastly, I am here tonight terrified of the spotlight and public speaking, so I would like to thank you all for allowing me to share my stories with you. Thank you.